Hello my friends, welcome to the Ground Noise and another pentatonic guitar lesson. Isn't that nice? Yes it is. Listen. <laughs> I've made this riff just to make practicing the pentatonic more fun and this time we are in the A minor pentatonic in the first position, the second position and the fifth position which is just one position down from the root note and we only need the E, the A and the D string but later in the video we'll also show you a way how we're gonna apply the pattern we're gonna learn on the other three strings and that will be great fun so this is the first position index finger in the fifth fret the second position the index finger is in the seventh fret but we start with the middle finger and the fifth position where the index finger is in the second fret but we start again with the middle finger in the third fret. But stay calm because this riff is really not that hard to play, I promise. I just love to make simple things sound way more complicated than they really are. So take your guitar and get ready to play with me. In the meantime I will play the wall riff in a slower version so that you get more used to it, okay? And this is how it works. We start in the first position, fifth fret, and play the pentatonic one time up the scale. That's all. And then we jump with the middle finger to the G. Okay. This is an advanced one, it's not on the one, it's on the four end, on the last eighth note of the of the bar. And when we're here with the G, we're already in the fifth position of the pentatonic and we just play up the scale again and two times back. Okay. Together with the start. And then we jump back to the first position with the index finger. And this is the most important part, I think. Uh, all the jumps between the different positions. This is, this is always the most difficult part. So we play that in a loop. Those two positions here. Just to practice the jumps. Remember? Middle finger. Index finger, okay? One, two, three, four. So far are you all right? That's good because the second half of the riff is almost the same. We also start with the first position, go up the scale, and then we make a little slide into the into the second position. I show you. So we continue the riff in the same way like we started it in the first position, and just playing up the scale. And then I slide with my pinky finger into the tenth fret of the D string and play the scale backwards. Okay. And two notes are still missing for that I play the E and the G on the A string, the seventh and the tenth fret. Okay. Together, slide, backwards, and back to the root position. 
Why do I use my pinky finger for the slide and not the ring finger? Well, I often use my ring finger for this, but for this tutor tutorial, I wanted to stay within the basic finger shape of the pentatonic. Um, also, it's a good idea to keep your pinky finger moving. And in general, it's a very good idea when you're practicing that you pretty much know what you are doing. And first, learn the basics and later you can find out if other fingerings work better for you. Now let me play the whoa riff for two times and very slowly of course. And I also try to remember to use my pinky finger, not your ring finger for the slide. Let's see what happens. One, two, three. I also added this little trill. It's all very, very cool. And you also don't have to change the fingering or something. Like this, when you have a little idea that you want to practice, try to practice it in time. Just create a little loop, just like I've did here. Okay, one more little thing before I tell you what we can do with the other three strings. Well, the last two notes, these two, the E and G on the A string, Why those? And not, for example, the next notes in the scale. Which would be the mirror of the fifth position. It just goes back the next notes in line. But here I've decided to play this instead of this. First, I think it sounds nicer, more interesting, but the main reason is uh, that normally we would end up on the index finger and the next tone has to be played by the index finger as well with a jump into the first position like this. And this is for a tutorial maybe a bit too difficult to do. Of course you can do it. No problem, but for a total beginner maybe it's um, a bit too difficult, so I've decided to go for the little bit cooler melody. But now let's talk about the other three strings, the G string, the B string and the E string. What can we do with them? Very easy, because that's a beautiful thing about the pentatonic. It has two notes and on every string. So when we have a pattern here, we can use the same pattern on the other three strings. The fingering is different, of course. But rhythmically, it still fits. And so we can play the wall riff on the other three strings. It sounds different, but it's, that's funny. It's a funny thing about it and the fascinating thing about it, since it's all in the A minor scale. You can play it everywhere and kind of change the patterns and, and the positions, and it still sounds good. Wait, don't believe me? Ha! Okay. But let me show it again very slowly. Here we go. I hope this inspired you to get your guitar, learn this riff 
and also even better, come up with your own ideas to create little practicing songs and practicing riffs. It's way more fun than just noodling up and down the scale, you know. So let me know what you think in the comments. Also, please don't forget to leave a like before you go and subscribe to the channel, of course. My name is Markus. You've been watching The Ground Noise and I hope to see you soon in the next one.